So Blair has a question here. What do you do with your meat and fish scraps at Zaytuna Farm if you don't have available manure to provide the base for a worm farm? Is just starting it with food scraps sufficient? Yeah, you can just start with food scraps. And you just gotta make sure they don't go hungry because what the manure does is gives them a base of food that they can always get to um, if, you, if the food scraps run out. So you, you have a base of food. Now I do put meat and fish in my worm farms, but they can get a bit smelly. Um, I ov obviously include it in an initial compost when I'm making a compost, but if I don't have a compost available and I don't have worm farm or I don't want to put them in the worm farms and they might get a bit maggoty and smelly. I can put them into a banana circle, which is a whole load of high carbon mulch. I can pull up some of the mulch and tuck meat and fish scraps in there and bury it. Now I could do that without a banana circle too. I could dig a bit of a shallow pit, put the meat and fish there, put a load of mulch on top and weigh it down with logs and rocks and it'll, it'll rot down into the soil and feed the soil. Or you could dig a hole if you've got a tree to plant, put the meat or fish scraps at the bottom, put a bit of soil on top, not much, and then plant your tree with your compost into the hole and it'll be a base feed underneath the tree. So there's lots of ways you can feed the soil with fish and meat scraps or you could you can tone it down with high carbon if you've got a lot of uh, dry mulch high carbon mulch or sawdust you can put it into you know you put it down and then put compost or high mulch on it and you can always if you want to when you've got the right material for compost or you need something in your worm farm you can hook it back out and use it when it's calmed down a little bit and it's a little bit less volatile generally it's not hard to feed it to the soil just remember to add high carbon mulch on top. That'll calm it all down. And, the, and the, the, the high nitrogen of those elements gets absorbed into the carbon and you've got it sponged up and long-term available.